to Fuzzy Guxy Gaming. Now this is quite an in-depth video and it's an explanation of companions, the different types you can get and bonding runestones in Neverwinter. The reason I'm releasing this video is that this is the most key part of any build and if you get this wrong or you don't fully understand the importance of it, it can be a huge detriment to your build. So if we start with companions, you get five different rarities. You get common, uncommon, rare, epic and legendary. The only thing rarity does is allows your companion to get to a higher level. The higher level a companion, the higher their stats, and we'll get onto this later. So the rarity levels are displayed on screen and they'll stay there now for a few seconds. The reason it's important to get as high a companion level as possible is that your companion will share these stats with you, so it's vital to use the highest level companion that you have. You should not be running anything less than an epic companion as you're summoned once you hit level 70, before then it doesn't really matter too much. Now the difference between an epic and legendary is shown here. And as you can see, at face value it doesn't seem that much. It's about 3k difference per stat, and in total it's an increase of around 27,000 stats. Now the reason the stats actually matter so much is due to how they transfer with what are called bonding runestones, which we'll go on to now. So as you can see, this runestone here that I have, which is max rank 15, for every one of these I have slotted, I gain 70% of my companion stats. This means that if I had all three at level 15, I'll get 210% of the stats, which is basically 2.1 times the stats that we see on screen. So that takes that 27k difference from epic to legendary and actually increases it to 56.7k. And that's why, even though it costs a million AD to take your companion from epic to legendary, it's one of the first things that you should do. Now the sweet point in regards to when to upgrade your bondings and when to look at your companion seems to be once you hit around rank 11 runestones as it costs a lot to get your runestones from 11 to 12 and you get a better return for your money to take your companion to legendary instead. So my advice would be to get your bondings to rank 11 as a priority and then start saving your AD for your legendary companion. There is nothing else in the game that comes close to the stats it will give you for a million AD. If we take a rank 14 or 15 radiant enchantment that will give you around 4k power and it's around the same price, it's a no brainer really. So the gear and runestones that you can slot on your companion also get their stats transferred, so it's the same principle. Concentrate on runestones before enchantments if you have fairly high level bondings. So let's have a look at the difference in stats with the legendary companion with max gear and runestones and then with no companion equipped. So as you can see the difference is pretty staggering. I mean it costs a lot of AD to get this gear but it is the best use of your money. And you need to bear in mind I've played this game for years and I didn't get all this stuff overnight, it's gradually built up. I would recommend that you try and at least push your bondings to 13 and then your runestones to 11 or 12 before looking at the enchantments on your character, your mounts, your insignias and that sort of thing. So in regards to the setup I've got here, the total setup on Xbox at the moment for this would be about 11 million AD. So it is a very expensive thing to get to the very, very max level. However, to get them in a position with rank 13 bondings and say 11 runestones with taking your companion to legendary, you're probably looking at about 3.5 million AD, which again is a lot, but if you concentrate on just grinding AD for this purpose, you'll be there before you know it. So the last thing to look at in regards to companions is what's called an augment companion which I'm sure you've had a lot of people talking about these are different to normal companions in that they don't fight with you when they summoned they just passively follow you around if we look at the difference in stats between an augment and a standard companion as shown here it looks like the normal companion is way better but if we actually take a look at my character stats with an augment versus a normal companion you'll see actually the augment gives a massive boost compared to the normal companion. And that's because of a power called augmentation. Now what this does, if we read it, it adds your companion stats to your ratings while it is summoned. Now this means that you get the stats that you see on screen plus you get those stats multiplied by your bondings. So if we go back to the comparison, you can see the huge difference that this makes. Now this is why it's so important to have an augment companion as your active summoned companion. The best value for money at the moment is the Deep Crow Hatchling, as he is the cheapest epic augment on the market, 
and it gives you 8k power that you can slot into your companions once you get that to legendary. That's kind of companions in a nutshell. It's a lot to take in for a new player, but it is the most important thing to get right in the game. If you want to enjoy, if you want to enjoy playing your character to its full potential, you really, really need to look at your augment, your bondings, and just making sure that when you concentrate on leveling something up on your character, that this is your priority. So just to summarize, if I was a new player starting out, as I've done on my series that follows kind of a brand new character, my first priority is to get an epic augment companion leveled up to 35, which is the max for epic. I then want to get my bondings leveled to level 11 before looking at saving and upgrading my companion to legendary. Then it's a case of slowly grinding towards working up your bondings and your runestones. I hope this video has helped and I know it's been covered off very fast but I didn't want to bombard stats and stuff on this video I just wanted to give you a summarized view as I could about companions. So if there is anything you're not sure of or anything you have questions about please leave comments and I'll respond as quickly as I can. Um, but until next time, thanks for watching and see you in the next video.